Okay guys, so this is the Redmi Note 7 and today <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to customize this phone by flashing the custom recovery and flash the Android 12 on Satara OS okay. So as you know the Android 12 is just coming and it isn't quite stable enough so <clears throat> we're going to give a try on this one okay i have tried this one and it seems that it's quite stable enough but it doesn't have a camera in the pond so we have to install the open camera okay i have tested this rom it's very fast and snappy Okay, so it has a new UI design, very nice and very clear. Okay, so stay tuned and check it out. Hey, hello guys, Assalamualaikum It's again with Ombob Okay, this time we have a Xiaomi Redmi Note 7 And we're going to try to customize this one using the uh, Android 12 Nusantara 4.0 Okay, as usual Make sure you have unlocked the phone Okay, using the tool from Xiaomi and Then You go Put into the fast boot, okay I will not show you uh, the stock ROM because I have already make a tutorial about that. Okay, you can check the previous video. Okay, so for this time, we have turn off the phone and we should go to the fast boot mode. Okay, as usual, press the volume down and the uh, power button. Okay, basically all the steps is uh, just the same. Okay, for this one, okay. Oh, let's plug the USB cable. And then, <clears throat> let's flash the custom recovery. Okay, let's switch the screen. Okay, in here, I already have a uh, custom recovery, okay. We're going to use the PPRP. Okay. Uh, let's flash the custom recovery. Let's copy and paste the command and drag the file. Okay, this one, the PPRP. And the second command is password uh, reboot recovery. Okay, we're going to use this command. So it will go to the custom recovery. Fast boot space reboot space recovery. Okay, let's paste that one and hit enter. Okay, for this uh, <coughs> this custom recovery, it takes time, so please be patient. Okay, now we are in the custom recovery. Okay, let's switch screen. As usual, after we enter the custom recovery, we must format the data. Okay, so go to the web menu right here. Go to the format tab and tap yes. Okay, hit enter. <coughs> and then hit the home button, select this power icon menu and select reboot recovery. Okay. 
if uh, if it is if the device is in boot again into recovery you must force put it again okay usual press the volume down and the power button at the same time okay while wait until it reboots then release the power button three seconds and then release the volume up okay okay nice so <clears throat> let's go to the weapon again this time go to the advanced select the delphic cast and data okay swipe it and now let's plug the usb cable okay let's switch uh, screen again now let's copy some files okay we're going to use the android 12 the nusantara 4.0 okay. let's paste it in here okay this is the vanilla base the size is about uh, 800 megabytes so Uh, okay, it seems that it doesn't copy. <laughs> I'm gonna cancel that one and let's plug again. Okay, let's try to copy again, erase the old one. and paste it okay sometime if you have problem with copy the file must unplug and plug the USB cable again okay and this is vanilla base so it doesn't include the gaps so we're going to copy the gaps it's arm 64 and 12 and i'm using the new gaps okay let's copy that one and I also want to use the mages. Okay, this is the canary, the latest mages. When I'm making this video, okay, let's paste. We're done, and let's switch the screen again. Okay, this time go to the install, select the uh, Nusantara. Okay, just one file, swipe it, and wait it until it's finished. Okay, after it's finished, you should not uh, flash the gaps and the mages okay this should reboot again to the recovery okay we'll wait Okay, now it's already finished. Okay, we should put into the recovery again. Okay, you can always use the power menu here and reboot to recovery. But if it's not working, you should power off your phone. Okay, and do it manually. Okay, uh, press the volume up and the power button again. Okay, volume up, power button, <clears throat> and then release the power button. Wait three seconds and release the volume up. Okay. Okay. Now let's uh go to the install again. This time, select the new gaps. Okay. Add more zip. And select the mages. Okay, the canary. Okay, just for information for the newbie. Uh, root the root. 
the magic root is just not necessary okay it's optional so if you don't want the success just keep pressing the magic <clears throat> Okay, done. Now let's go to hit the home button again, go to the wipe and select the format data tab and tap yes. Okay. And then just hit the reboot system and we'll wait. Okay, now it's showing the boot logo. Okay, for this uh, mm. Sandra 4, seems that the developers forgot to replace the boot logo. <laughs> okay, but uh, there is no problem with that. Hey guys, so it's already finished. Now we are in the under the home screen. Okay, it doesn't have a wizard because we use the nick caps. Okay, we have a play store right here from the gaps and we have magis. Okay, so I will stop this video and <clears throat> we'll continue to make a quick reboot about this ROM. Okay, hey guys, so this is the not seven using the Nusantara OS 4.0 and it's using the Android 12 okay. so we're going to uh, make a quick review about this ROM is it stable enough for daily driver or not okay. so as you can see it's very minimalistic <coughs> and it even doesn't have a camera <laughs> So you have uh, to install the camera separately from the Play Store or uh, using the Geek Cam case. So in this tutorial, I'll using the open camera. So let's check it out. <coughs> okay, the first thing I need, I want to to do is open the gaps. <coughs> okay, this is Android 12, and we have successfully installed the gaps. Okay. Go to the settings and go to the menu, menu menu. And here you can check the configure denialist. Okay, this is where you can hide your Magis apps. Okay, so all the root function on Magis working perfectly in this one. Okay, so let's now try the GPS. <coughs> okay, this is the map. As you can see working and it's locking okay this is my, my location so there is there isn't any problem with the <coughs> GPS okay so now let's uh, take a picture and video using the camera okay okay so this is the back camera let's take a picture uh, sorry stop this one okay okay I have a test taking a picture with the black camera so let's try using the <coughs> video camera okay this is a video camera recording using the Android 12 using the Centaur OS okay, let's stop this one and let's take a uh, test using the front camera. Okay. Mm. Okay, this is the video camera. Now I'm speaking, <coughs> recording a video using the front camera. Okay, let's stop this one. And let's take a picture using the front camera. Okay, it seems that all is working. Let's open the gallery. <coughs> Hey guys, 
So this is the result of the back camera. It's quite decent. And this is the result of the front camera. Okay, let's check the video recording using the back camera. Okay. So there is no problem. And let's check the result using the front camera. Okay. All the function is working. There is only one problem, it has small voice. <laughs> Okay, so let's try a uh, video and the sound. Okay, let's try to open the browser and open the YouTube. Okay. <coughs> YouTube, YouTube. Uh, okay. Let's try playing a video. Okay, seems that there is no problem with the sound and video while we're playing the YouTube. Okay, nice. <clears throat> and okay, let's check the email if it's safe or not. Okay, uh, okay guys, so there is no problem with the email. And while playing the YouTube, I'm using the mobile data from the SIM card, so there is no problem with the SIM card and camera. Okay, so all the basic function is working properly. So, for the verdict, yes, you can use this ROM for daily driver, but seems that I think the Android 12 is not stable enough. But if, if you want the new design, it's quite uh, okay, okay. <laughs> very nice and very snappy okay that's all guys I hope you like the video if you like this give it a thumb I have a lot of video about uh, custom ROM and routing please check my other video okay if you subscribe it will make me excited to make a new video okay thank you guys have a nice day wassalamualaikum